Here we are in your hideout. We're in Germany, so let's go with the Porsche, the GT3. Now that you have your car, you can personalize it to make one of a kind. And there are seriously millions of options. And all drive is the perfect environment to really show off your style. Next, we'll choose your speed list. This is the new way we're thinking about progression in Rivals. Each list serves up your objectives, and when you complete them, you level up and you unlock new items. And even if you and your friends have completely different speed lists, you can still advance the careers when you're playing together. So let's get started. It's never been easier to find things to do in the world and get right into the action. And we're triggering a race, and for the sake of time, we'll be skipping ahead. To win this race, you're going to need pursuit tech, like the EMP. So that shows you how you win the race, and you just got a huge payout. But it isn't over, the cops are still on your tail, and you need to lose them. Now, you do have a choice. You can bank your speed points, or you can put them on the line. And racers, they earn significantly more points the longer they stay alive. If you get busted, though, you lose it all. There are a lot of different ways for you to spend your speed points. More, per more personalization items, better pursuit tech, and of course, awesome new cars. So that's the Ferrari 458 Spider back in the game after seven years away from Need for Speed. We, we think that's awesome. So there you have it. 